Hello, welcome back to my channel, Christian Faith and Fiction. My name's Lou, and today I'm going to be sharing with you some of the books I'd like to read in June. So here are some of the books I'm still reading through at the moment. Um, I am struggling a little bit because all three of these books have got some um, more heavier aspects to them and we are just coming, um, at least I am just coming out of lockdown. Um, we've been five months um, kind of locked down, not getting out very much. And as great as that is, um, it does play with my brain and my brain is quite active, just processing new routines and how to get safely um, back into things. And uh, I really am looking for some lighter books. And the ones I'm reading at the moment are quite all quite got darker things to them, but I do really want to finish them. Um, but I've, I wanted to finish them, um, at least two of them in May, but I don't think I'm going to get there because... I'm just not in the headspace for that type of book. So I'll see how it goes really. So um, I'm kind of struggling to pick which books I want to read and what I'm what I'm predicting that I'm going to want to read. Um, so I'm giving myself um, a selection of different ones I'm going to share with you. Um, the ones I've still not finished, Esther by Angela Hunt, um, that far through at the moment. Um, so further than halfway. Um, this is not a romant like a romanticized version of Esther. This is fairly, you know, it's it really does show the um, the difficulty of being a woman in a time period where a king can pick and choose who he wants, and um, the the difficulties and dangers of being part of the harem of um, of a a big empire king. So yeah. Um, and then Song of Lyra by Gillian Bronte Adams, which is the third book in the Songkeeper Chronicles. Um, I've loved this series so far, but there is a lot of um, fighting and battles and inner turmoil and soul, see soul searching and stuff um, going on in this. And I'm not quite halfway through it yet. Um, I, I want to get to the end. I want to know what happens and, all, and the mystery of what some of the fantasy elements in it and things but it is quite hard going <laughs> in terms of it's intense um so there's that one and then I've only kind of just started of literature and lattes which is a contemporary romance this one actually does have some deeper themes in it as well which I kind of wasn't expecting um not heavy necessarily but not not a light and fluffy one um, it's following Angela, Alyssa. You're following Alyssa, who has. Um, this is the second book in the series, and her in the first book, her mum was one of the main characters, and um, there are some things in the past that Alyssa hasn't forgiven her mum for, but she ends up losing her job and having to move back home, and is having to leave live with her mum, and in this state of so far she's you know not forgiven her um so yeah it's a romance there's two characters um but yeah there's other sort of side stuff going on as well which is it's a meteor contemporary so of the books that i want to start um i'm still continuing with chronicles of narnia i'm definitely managing to read those ones because they're lighter kids ones um, the Voyage of the Dawn Treader is the next one that I'm looking at. Um, I, I've been looking at doing some non-fiction, so I've got Mere Christianity by C.S. Lewis because I wanted to continue and read more of C.S. Lewis's works um, that I haven't read before. Uh, I've got a couple of um, historical fiction books. Um, the Tea Chest by Heidi Chiaveroli. I don't know how to pronounce that properly, but that's um, that book was recommended by Sierra Trotter, I think. That's the name of her channel. I'll link it down below. Um, and I had this book on my shelf for quite some time. She really loved this book, so it makes me want to pick it up fairly soon. 
and a portrait of loyalty. I think I've mentioned this before on a TBR, I haven't got to it, by Rosanna M. White. And it's the third book in the Codebreakers series, and that is a, I think it's a First World War, I'm not sure, but it's a wartime romance with espionage and suspense um, added in. I also wanted to give myself um, some other options. So I've got a bunch of novellas on um, as ebooks that I haven't read yet. And I think most of them are contemporary romance. So I just got Once Upon a Summer by Tony Shiloh, Andrea Boyd, Teresa Teisinger and JC Weaver, which are contemporary retellings of timeless tales. Um, then I've got Finding Ever After, which I don't think is available as a collection anymore, but some of them might be available individually. And they're four fairy tale-ish novellas by Pepper Basham, Rachel McMillan, Ashley Clark, and Betsy St. Armand. And then I've got two by Becky Wade, which are the, like, the starter novellas to her series. So Then Came You and Take a Chance on Me. So if you have read any of those novellas and you can recommend any, um, let me know down in the comments. It's all a bit up in the air. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to be reading or wanting to read. Um, but let me know down in the comments what you are planning to read yourself. This month's videos, I'm hoping to get out my reading vlog for Prince Caspian and also the new releases for July. And I also know now quite a few of the books that are coming out for the rest of the year. So I'm going to hopefully do part two to my most anticipated books from 2021. Thank you so much to everyone who subscribes, um, shares, likes, comments on my videos. I really appreciate that. I hope you have a really great reading week and God bless. Bye!